So this is going to be a video on the boot loop if you're running into an, into an issue here where your phone continuously just keeps trying to reboot. And this kind of happens if you're trying to jailbreak your phone, uh, unfortunately. But it's also happening to other people, just regular uh, issues. You know, if you're updating your phone, something happens, or certain apps seem to be causing this. There's a few different things causing this boot loop. And so you'll just see the Windows Apple in the center of your phone here. It's just constantly going. It's like it's rebooting over and over. So the first thing we're going to do is power down the phone. So you're going to want to try and hold down the power button up on the top here. Just hold it down for five seconds, see if it'll turn off. If it's not going to turn off that way, you're going to want to hold down the power button and the home key at the same time for about five seconds or just let it go for a few more seconds after that. That should shut down on you. And hopefully the next step, you're gonna to wanna to connect your phone to your adapter and plug it in so you can access your iTunes. Because the next thing is we're gonna try and restore it um, if we can't get in. We can try safe mode and then we can try restoring it. That's really your only two options here. So for safe mode, you're going to want to turn it on and hold the up arrow afterwards. And that should start your phone hopefully in safe mode. And if that happens, you can uninstall any tweaks. You can uninstall any apps that you have uh, recently installed. See if you can revert back. If that doesn't work, we're going to go ahead, hold down the power and the home button for 10 seconds. And then you're going to keep holding down the home button. And then it should register on iTunes for you. And this should allow you to revert back. And this can be caused by several different things. It's most likely an update or an app, though. So you're going to have to change back or revert back if you can't find the app that did it to you. Um, other things could be that you brick the phone and it's some sort of hardware issue now. And you can't actually do this, but most likely you'll be just fine. I would give it a shot, see what you can do here. I would also cruise around, check some forums, how to unbrick your phone uh, if you can't get this to work. It's pretty straightforward, though. Uh, feel free to leave any questions below. I'm happy to help. Thanks.